Hello, and welcome to San Lando Soundwaves. I'm Leslie McKean, and this is week four, day 18. Today, our reading is from Acts, chapter 17, verses 22 through 34. Then Paul stood up in the meeting of Areopagus and said, People of Athens, I see that in every way you are very religious. For as I walked around and looked carefully at your objects of worship, I even found an altar with this inscription, To an unknown God. So you are ignorant of the very thing you worship, and this is what I'm going to proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by human hands. And he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives everyone life and breath and everything else. From one man he made all the nations that they should inhabit the whole earth. And he marked out their appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. As for some of your poets, they have said, we are his offspring. Therefore, since we are God's offspring, we should not think that the divine me being is like gold or silver or stone, an image made by human design and skill. In the past, God overlooked such ignorance, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent. For he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. When they heard about the resurrection of the dead, some of them sneered, but others said, we want to hear you again on this subject. At that, Paul left the council. Some of the people became followers of Paul and believed. Among them was Dionysus, a member of Are of Aro 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 Aropagus, sorry. Um, among them was Dionysus, a member of Aropagus, also a woman named Demaris, and a number of others. Now let's consider our seven arrows, or seven questions. What does this passage say? What did this passage mean to its original audience? What does this passage tell us about God? What does this passage tell us about humanity? And what does it demand of me? How does this passage change the way I relate to people? What does this passage prompt me to pray? Now let us look at the brief devotional about this passage on page 32 of our book, Seven Arrows. The speech recorded in Acts 17 took place as Paul and his band of missionaries traveled to tell people the good news of Jesus' work and establish new churches. In Athens, Paul found that the people worshiped a lot of false gods so he took the opportunity to speak to them about the one true living God. Paul began with creation, declaring to anyone listening that the true God is the one who made the heavens and earth. There's no God but the creator God. Not only that, but the true God populated the world with image bearers descendants of Adam and Eve. He did this very specifically. He intentionally determined the exact time and place that every person, including you, would be born. God was at work long before you were born, placing you in such a way that you could display the image 
and fulfill your life's purpose. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you'll tune in tomorrow.